yeah so hello everybody welcome to this video in this video we are going to talk about the list of scholarships you should apply in your first year for your smooth engineering life as you all know the fees of iits has been increased from nearly 1 lakh to 2.7 lakh rupees 2.7 lakh rupees is the fees of iit guwahati in other iits it is it ranges over the spectrum of 2.5 to 3 lakh rupees per year including hostel and mess fees so this amount of fees is not affordable for most of the people or most of the students so government and iits offer some few scholarships that will be helpful for you you can get up to 8 lakh rupees in the four year of your iit journey or in your college when i come to college i had no idea about any of the scholarships i only got a fee waiver based because of my family income so uh, one day i was talking to my friend and that day was the last day to fill the form of app the uh, scholarship that was mcm scholarship and i casually filled that form as it was the last day i just submitted the documents that was required but just just because i filled a form i got 74000 rupees in that year so i don't want you guys to miss those chance or opportunities because there are some scholarships in which you have to fill the form in the first year only and you will be getting the scholarship for 4 years so in those case if you miss in the first year you will not be getting the scholarship for the like for 4 years so there are two types of scholarships that you can apply the first one is the scholarship that is been offered from institute only and the other one is from the government so for the first one you can just search on the google that uh, like the institute name and the scholarship offered by that that institute like scholarships in iit guwahati scholarships in Uh, IIT Bombay, that kind of thing, and for the government one, I will uh, put a link in the description so that you can go through that, and uh, you will get the list of scholarships that has been provided by uh, government. So, uh, for an example, let us go to the uh, scholarship provided by IIT Guwahati. Okay, so simply go to your Google Chrome and just uh, just search a scholarship in your college name. Okay, so my college name is IIT Guwahati, so I am searching a scholarship in IIT Guwahati. Okay. So this is the scholarship PDF I am getting. So just, just go through this. Uh, I will not read all of the things. These are just rules for getting the scholarship. And it is saying that there are three kind of scholarship. The first one is the Institute Merit Scholarship (IMS) that is provided to B Tech, B D S, M S C, M A student of the institute. The scholarship is meant for the year-wise class topper of all the streams, and it it is awarded from the second year only. So, uh, in your first year performance, if you are the class year topper, then you will get the uh, your total uh, tuition fees refund. So, if you are paying two lakh rupees as tuition fee, you will get two lakh rupees refund. And then this the monthly stipend. It will it is around five hundred rupees per month only. So, uh, it it doesn't matter much. But two lakh rupees you will get as an uh, in, as a return in your bank account. The next one is the institute merit come means MCM scholarship. This is the scholarship that I am getting. So this is basically based on the your financial income. If your family income is less than four point five lakh rupees. And your CGP is greater than six point zero, then then you are eligible to apply for this scholarship. And then twenty five percent of the general and OBC category student will be able to get this scholarship. In this scholarship, you will be uh you will get your uh, tuition fees refunded in your bank account. So uh like I am getting around uh sixty six thousand tuition fees in my bank account and one thousand rupees per month as a monthly stipend for eight months. So that is seventy four thousand total. Now the third one is the SC ST scholarship. Uh, for this is also like your family income should less should be less than four point five lakh rupees, and then uh, this this will reimburse your tuition fees, your uh, hostel fees, and uh, like everything like uh, like uh, I think most of the charges you will be getting uh, get back in your account, and uh, the fixed monthly income uh, monthly stipend that is around two hundred fifty rupees per month. So that's like very less, but still like you will get that as well. And like uh, for these two, like MCM and SCST scholarship, uh, like there is one criteria that in class twelfth, you should not be, uh, you shouldn't have paid around more than thirty thousand rupees in your class twelfth school. So, uh, th that's for the el eligibility. Then there are a couple of other scholarship that's like assistance, and then like let me go through this thing. The the first one is the Indian Women's Association B O R W I W A B. So. Uh, I, I I don't know much about this thing, but you can go through these things, so you will uh, get to know like uh, what is the benefit of this. Like, here I can see fifteen thousand rupees one time uh, scholarship it is, but uh, you can get uh, 
you can go through all the other scholarships uh, the assistantship this is not for the btech student this is for the like mtech or msc student so uh, like similarly you can go to your college website and this is how it works and then apart from this there are a couple of more scholarships that uh, like nobody will tell you the first one is the ffa scholarship so let's, uh, just like this you just go to the chrome and then search ffa so uh, this is the ffa scholarship that uh, like very less people know about this thing so like foundation for excellence you can apply if you are in uh, iit or nit you can just apply for this scholarship and this is also uh, like based on your family income so this this they provide around 40 to 60000 rupees per year if you be the alumni of this ffe like after completing your college you will also have to return this that this money to uh, in the form of a scholarship to the other student so this is how it works so yeah yeah so uh, after ffe there is one more scholarship that is samsung star scholarship program so the only constraint about this is uh, students must be from i uh, like jawaharlal nehru university so if you don't know what jawaharlal nehru is just uh, search it out uh, this is central government uh, college uh, sorry school so uh, students should be from jawaharlal nehru university and currently he is in uh, he or she is in iit or nit so this is the constraint so if you are not from jn jnb you cannot apply on this thing so this scholarship uh, also like refund or your total tuition fees so there is no restriction on your total uh, like family income so even if your family income is more than 5 lakh rupees you can also apply for this thing and if you have paid around 2 lakh rupees per month per year so you will get around total 8 lakh rupees in your four year of your engineering okay now apart from this there is one more scholarship called uh, the one website called buddyforstudy.com so you can find multiple uh, scholarship uh, or like india wise so like uh, either government state government or uh, national government or like central government or state government or any private uh, uh, like scholarships you can find it here you can just search from here so these were all like uh, information about a scholarship that i was knowing so if you know couple of more scholarships then you can just uh, like put it down in the comment section i will ping it up and it will be helpful for me and the other stu students as well so uh, this was all about this video so thank you so much i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, if you have some any suggestion just put it down in the comment section yeah so thank you bye bye